Hey guys, this is Matthew Shapiro from TO Real Estate Buzz. Uh, today I'm going to take a break from talking about the market and uh, I want to talk about something else that's really important which is uh, you know some home maintenance and specifically home maintenance of your appliances. Uh, stuff goes on your appliances and it's really expensive to get them repaired but you know if you're mechanically inclined sometimes you can fix stuff uh, yourself that's uh, that's not too hard. Uh, today I've got my washing machine uh, which uh, the coupler broke on it and uh, I figured that out by going to the internet of course and going on YouTube and watched a few videos on how to fix it so I'm going to show you exactly what I did and you know I'm going to try and do it myself today so here I am I just tipped over my washing machine it's right over here and on the bottom you'll see is the motor and there's the pump I just took that off there's two clips that take off the pump and then there's two bolts that release the motor and in back of the motor is here's the new one is this little coupler this little coupler over here and that's what uh, attaches the motor to the transmission that turns the uh, the tub so this is just a seventeen dollar part and uh, there's tons of videos on YouTube on how to fix it so I'm just doing uh, mine over here of course this uh, you know it saves uh, a little over two hundred plus tax to have a repairman come out and do it for you gonna unclip the clip from the motor that's the first one it's gone and then there's one at the top over there we're about to do to release the motor no there's the motor took the motor right off yeah and here is the broken coupler yeah broken two yeah broken two we're gonna and now we're just gonna replace it with the new that's one that's another part it goes in the top but the one in the top broken so I've installed the new coupler well, and what I'm about to do is just tap it down with a hammer and uh, I'm going to use a socket over here just to, to tap that down. And here we are just putting the coupler right on the motor. That's it. It's on. And now it's time to do everything in reverse. Just put the motor right back on. So you want to make sure that this part is up and this part is down and uh, fit it back together so here we are, motor is back in just tightening up the two bolts now I'm going to put this pump back on the front and uh, start it up and now for the final test I'm just going to show that uh, it's not going to spin, I just threw it onto the spin cycle and here we go. Just woohoo! Awesome. And there you have it. Yeah.